All right, we are officially just 27 days away from Austin FC's second season kicking off. I'm KVU's Tyler Feldman, and today I am joined by a familiar face with the Verde and Black 25-year-old forward, John Gallagher. John, thanks so much for taking the time. Let's just first get into what your offseason has been like. Have you been in Austin at all? Did you go back home to Ireland? What have you been up to? Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. I, uh, so my fiance's family are based in Atlanta. That's where we met. Um, so I actually spent majority of the off season there. Um, so got to uh, see some familiar faces from my, my time in Atlanta United and, um, yeah, be, be, be spending time with, with close relatives too. Gotcha. So for those who don't know, John spent three seasons with Atlanta United, so it makes sense that you went back to Very Cool that that's where you met your fiance. Were you able to get some training in? I'm sure the facilities in that area are pretty strong as well. Yeah, it was great. I, um, I had a, like a strength and conditioning coach, um, and then I also had a coach for like on-field sessions. So between the two of them, I had a really good team behind me, and um, yeah, we worked for almost six to eight weeks together. Um, Oh my god, my dog's getting into the food. Give me a second. <laughs> Time out. We've got we've got a dog in the food. All right, I'm back. Yeah, my, my dog just like opened the, the door to the cabinet and, and got into his own food. So um pretty smart dog. What's uh, his or her name? His name's Leo. He's a 70 pound lab, so he's he's figured out how to open doors now. And um yeah, it's a nightmare. Dangerous game to play. Well, speaking of games, you guys played a scrimmage Sunday, close to the public, but you were taking on Louisville City FC. What was it like just to get back out there in a competitive environment? It was great. Yeah, I, I, I mean, what was it? Yesterday, I woke up. You just had those like pregame nerves and um, like anxiousness to get back on the field. It's like those pregame butterflies um, I hadn't felt for a couple months uh, since um, since our last game of the season. So. It was, it was great. Just really nice to be out there in competitive environment against, um, you know, not your own teammates. So, What about the fans? It was close to the public. It was close to the media, but some fans still made it out there on the hillside. We saw on Twitter that you guys applauded them after the match, but just to have that support during a close to the public scrimmage, what does that mean to you and your teammates? Yeah, I mean, they're, um, they're crazy. <laughs> it's like every, <laughs> every time they do something to, to blow us away, um, so yeah, they're, they're a really special group, uh, and we're, we're super thankful. Now, looking back to last season though, John, you actually made some Austin FC history scoring the first Austin FC goal at Q2 stadium. It was in a four, one win over Portland back on July 1st. Doesn't seem like that long ago, but I guess at this point it has been a little bit of time looking back. How have you been able to reflect on that moment? Uh, yeah, it was a uh, surreal feeling um we, we hadn't scored for the first two games at q2 so i know everyone was was getting a bit anxious um and yeah i i mean to be honest i try to replay the moment in my head but i just kind of black out every time um i know in the moment it was just crazy i couldn't even like understand what was actually happening so that was a really good memory that i'll, I'll remember forever you're actually one of the more prominent irish born players in major league soccer Little do you know, I've actually been to Ireland. I've kissed the Barney Stone, so I guess that makes me somewhat Irish despite not being Irish. What does it mean to you to be one of the more prominent Irish-born players and playing in the States? Does it elevate your heritage that much more? Um, yeah, I think, you know, you just want to set an example for kids back home. Um, I know, like myself, I, I didn't get the chance to, uh, to make it when I was 17, 18 in England. So um, I chose an alternative route and I still managed to make it into professional soccer. So um, just kind of trying to be an inspiration for those kids back home uh, in Ireland who maybe don't know as much about the opportunities in America. And um, yeah, hopefully I can just be, be that example for them. Have you kissed the Barney Stone or is that more of a tourist attraction? That's the tourist thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about this? I give you my best Irish accent. In return, you provide us with your best American accent. Okay. Are you down? <laughs> yeah, go first. All right, I'll go first. Grab the Sunday out of your bag, lad, and prop it on the green. <laughs> That's like a bit, a bit too Scottish. Bit too, I, was, I was worried it was going to be a bit too Scottish. 
How about you with the American accent? I, I just I just make fun of my fiance sometimes. She always says y'all. So anything where it's like, hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That is definitely very American. We appreciate you playing. Uh, jokes aside, with the team this season, John, what excites you about year two compared to year one? Um, just the the general understanding of um, you know our goals this year. Last year was you know it's a bit tricky when you have 27, um, 20, 20, 20 something players coming in all new to the city. You know, trying to find their their feet on the ground. You know, move find house, everything like this. It, it, it was controlled chaos last year. Um, so just that everyone's a bit more settled now and we understand like what we want to achieve as a group. Um, it, it should be an exciting year. I agree. And the way in which you ended the season with that big win at Q2 Stadium in the final game, does that lead into the momentum for this upcoming season? The fact that you guys are hungry to win more and have more success in the standings? Yeah, absolutely. As I said, there, there's an understanding of what the group needs to achieve. Um, last year, we, we were all trying to figure it out and we didn't know exactly um, what we wanted to do or how we were going to do it. But this year, it's it's been clear since day one of preseason, or even last year, towards the end of the year, you know, we want to be a team in the playoffs. We want to make Q2 a fortress. We want to make it, you know, a place where, where teams don't want to come play because they know they know it's going to be a tough game. John Gallagher, forward for Austin FC. He and the rest of the Verde and Black, 27 days away from opening kickoff at Q2 Stadium to start that playoff hunt. John, thanks so much. Thanks for having me.